A program was held on the 8th of March 2022 at the Sosotham Auditorium to celebrate four years of completion of the MDA government in Meghalaya. As part of the event, a report entitled Meghalaya on the Move was released by Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma in the presence of Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong, Cabinet Ministers, State Government officials besides others. While addressing the gathering, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma appreciated the role of indigenous women in society and also the achievement of citizens of the state through various programs of the state government. Sangma attributed the four years of successful governance of the MDA government to the Almighty who had steered the alliance to achievement despite various challenges along the way. The Chief Minister added that belief in teamwork and giving it the independence to work through their sense of commitment have enabled the MDA government's intentions to move in the right direction. This is a, a very meaningful day, in fact, a meaningful year for us. Because on uh, the 50th year, the Golden Jubilee of our state, we have a indigenous woman as our Chief Secretary. And we also have an indigenous woman as our special DG. So it's a really a special day for the women, I think for the first time in the history of the state. And that too on the Golden Jubilee year. Both the top administrative posts, which is the Chief Secretary and the Special DG's post, are both being held by women, and that to women from our own state. Uh, by appreciating and thanking the people who have made these last four years possible. And therefore, uh, I start with the Almighty for really blessing us and guiding us in these last four years. And uh, many challenges have come our way, as has been mentioned by so many of our leaders. But uh, in those challenges and those difficult times, somehow there was always a guiding force that we could feel. And uh, I truly believe that he has led us from above to these difficult times and blessed us with all the blessings that we have seen in our beautiful state in the last four years. I want to thank our cabinet colleagues who have uh, really worked very, very hard and dedicatedly for all the work that they have done in the last four years. Also the Honorable MLAs who have also been individuals who have really focused and worked at their constituency level our chief secretaries, our officials, and all the team members who have really made uh, the last four years possible. And I believe in a very small but a simple formula uh, and a principle that I follow a lot in, in office, and you will know why when I tell you. And I always believe that as a leader or as somebody who's managing things, the biggest challenge or the most important thing for you to do is to find the right people and allow them to work. Find the right people and allow them to work. Now that does not mean I don't want to work, so don't get it wrong. It simply means that one has to believe in your team. It also means that you have to allow your team to do what they have to do believe that they will do the right thing and give them the independence to make the decision which they feel is best in the interest of their department or their constituency or whatever goal or target that they have. And that is why I strongly feel that the teamwork that we have had is something that has been great and every individual has worked in their particular areas with a true sense of commitment and that is why uh, we have seen a lot of these challenges uh, that came along our way, we were able to overcome most of them.